Hey guys, it's Arx here and welcome back to my channel. We are back with finally another Akko Switch review. Today, we are finally taking a look at the newest addition to their Switch line, the new and improved Akko V3 Cream Yellow Pro. Now, a very quick disclaimer before we start the video that the Switches was sent by Akko for a review, but I wasn't paid to make the video and of course, I'll give you guys my honest and unbiased opinion about the Cream Yellow Pro. You may check out all Akko's link on my description down below. Let's take a look at the Switches. So this is like the improved version of one of their best budget Switches that they release, which are the Cream Yellows. Now these are now a 5-pin linear switch and has a slight increase in terms of the pricing. 45 pieces will now cost you at $10.99 compared to the $8.99 on the cream yellows. While they are a bit more expensive, they made some changes and difference which we'll get into. Now, of course, I know you guys are going to ask a side-by-side -side comparison with the non-pro uh, cream yellow. So here's a side-by-side. -side. Again, from 3-pin now to 5-pin. And from the kale housing now to an MX style housing. And as per Akko, they somehow updated the switch to remove the ping issues on the cream yellow. Which wasn't really that noticeable. But it's nice to know that they made some improvements, especially on the switch stability. Deconstructing the switches, again, these are now a 5-pin switches compared to the 3-pin on the non-pro version. We have a polycarbonate for the top housing, PA or nylon on the bottom housing, and it's now using a dustproof box long pole palm stem for better stability. So we have a 50-gram actuation force and a 60-gram bottom-out force. For the sound test, we will now be doing a stock versus lube comparison as the switches comes in with a light pre-factory lube. But of course, we'll be doing a sound comparison versus other Akko switches. And speaking of the sound test, please do keep in mind that the sound and experience will vary depending on your keyboard build. So of course, for the sound test, we'll be using the Vega 65 and I'll put my configuration down below. If you want to hear my thoughts and opinion about the Switch, please do stick around at the end of the sound test or you may check the timestamps. So with all of that out of the way, please do enjoy the sound test on the Akko Cream Yellow Pro.
So that was the sound test on the Echo Cream Yellow Pro. Please do let me know on what you think about them on the comment section down below and let's have some quick discussions. If you also made it up to this point of the video, thank you for staying and now let's talk about my thoughts and opinion about the Switch. Now let's talk about my thoughts on the feel. Well, as expected, the stock or the out-of-the-box experience is still smooth. It didn't have the plastic row feeling when typing, and I didn't feel any leaf crunch on stock, plus the pre-fractory pre lube feels really consistent. I would say that I already expected this from Echo, especially if you are calling a Switch the Pro version. And now in terms of the feel-wise, they are the same with the cream yellow or the non-pro with a 50 gram of the actuation force. Now the pre-travel and the total travel is almost the same with just 0.2 millimeter difference. And honestly, this feels a little bit more stable when typing and fuller compared to the non-pro and a bit more smoother. I would really say that you can really use this out of the box. Now moving on to my thoughts on the sound. They sound really smooth out of the box. I didn't hear any lifting and scratches. And it also didn't sound over the place on stock. It didn't have that aggressive um, pitch to it. So they have this really clacky and snappy sound signature on our Vega, and I just love it. it. It sounds really nice, and this might be one of my favorite sounding echo switch on my Vega if ever. Now compared with the cream yellow or the non-pro, those have a bit more of that deeper creamy sound profile compared to the clacky sound profile on the pro version. Overall, I think this was really a good improvement in terms of like how the Switch feel, but of course, with some sacrifices. Now, I know some of you guys didn't really like how it's now a 5-pin Switch. The key travel is more shorter and of course, a slight increase at the pricing. But I don't really think that one is really a replacement of the other since now you would really have a choice between the two in terms of your preference. I can say the increase in the price isn't really that concerning for me as they improve the stability and overall smoothness of the switches. I would say they are worth it and if ever you are curious on trying this out, I would just suggest to just get one pack first before trying it out and before committing in buying for a full build. And that's it for the video guys. I hope you really enjoyed the review on finally with the Echo Cream Yellow, Pro, Cream Yellow Pro. I know you've been waiting on this and I do apologize if it took this long. Now if you find the review helpful, please don't forget to like the video to help out the channel grow. Again, I'll put Echo's link on the description down below. What's next? Well, we have three more Pro Switches coming in to review and some new keyboards on the way, so please stay tuned for that. Again, please don't forget to like the video, share if you want, and of course, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys on the next Soundtest. Peace.